Peter Gray from the AU Review in Australia. Hello, Isaac. Yeah, hey, thanks for doing this. No worries. Thank you so much. Um, congratulations on Twisters Festival. I I was someone who like grew up with the original. I was probably 10 or 11 when I saw it in cinemas. And I feel like, you know, we've heard about a sequel for so long. Like, And when it was announced that you were director, obviously people kind of thought maybe it's a bit odd because after Minari, but you, like, you've directed episodes of like the Mandalorian and the skeleton crew. So like, it probably feels more natural than we expect, but like, was part of the appeal sort of taking this film on because it's not what people would have expected from you? Yeah, I, I guess I don't worry too much about that public perception. Uh, I, yeah. I think it, people might find it odd. In fact, when I was working on uh, skeleton crew, I was telling John Favreau that um, I really wanted to do twisters and uh, he was giving me advice on it. And at the end of the advice, he said, you know, people might think it's odd. And that, kind <laughs> of, uh, that threw me for a loop. I didn't know that. Uh, and then now I realize, okay, yeah, people, people do find it a little odd, but I was just chasing after what I uh, wanted to do personally, the things that interest mm -hmm. me, the things that I feel are, uh, would be really challenging for me, uh, the things that scare me even. Um, so I, this was, uh, for me, a thrilling choice and I wanted to, mm -hmm. I wanted Real. the importance of how we like treat the earth is sort of one of these things that like disaster films like to like to push but uh, what i really loved about twisters was that it never felt like a message movie like how was it for you to sort of balance the entertainment with the environmental message well i i honestly felt like this has to be a summer popcorn blockbuster movie yeah that i loved going to when i was a kid and um, I didn't like when anyone preached to me as a kid, so <laughs> yeah. uh, that's kind of what was in my mind. Um, and I, I just wanted to treat climate change and all those things um, the way that the characters would look at it. So that's mm. that, that was my baseline of what I thought I would do with this um, and not try to like drive it home a message, but just present things as reality and um, let the characters play within that space. And Minari and, and this, like the, the cinematography, beautiful with the landscapes. Like, was was that also part of the importance in like showing our relationship with nature through these like really, really beautiful like showcases of land of like what we're at risk of losing? Like, was that part of uh, like part of the look of this film? Because like knowing that this was filmed like on location just makes it just adds like so much more to it. Yeah, um, God, I love that question. Just uh, the way that you framed it was exactly what I would say to people on the crew all the time. I'd say mm -hmm. we're always wanting to portray the things that are we are at risk of losing and to portray those things with great beauty. Um, yes. Yeah. So, um, absolutely. Filming in Oklahoma was a priority for me. Um, we looked at other locations even, but I said I'd love to go back to Oklahoma where I filmed Minari and to get on the d red dirt roads, get out on the pastures and the fields um, and shoot it on film. So all, all of these things were very much part of uh, the artistic uh, decisions behind how to present this place. Yeah, you can tell that it was, that it has been filmed on film because it just has this, it has this look that like, it, it brought me back to the original when I was watching it because as obviously apart from, you know, the, the special effects we see, like, you can just tell that like the backgrounds are real and that's just like so important in this um in this day and age of, of filmmaking and then as you're talking about what you were talking about on set like you've got this cast and like like the original it's just like obviously glenn powell daisy edgar jones anthony ramos but then you have you know moratini and katie o'brien and you have all of these like little bit players but they're just so they're just as important as everybody else like how was it for you to sort of have this cast at your disposal and realize like no actor is is small so to speak like everybody here has their own personality and their own character and like that's so important in a film like this when we care about these people yeah it was uh it was such a luxury to work with mm. this cast i mean this cast is incredible um and there were so many scenes where i just wanted each person individually to add something do something just uh, create, let, uh, let, uh, let yourself feel free. And, and they yeah. brought it time. 
Um, so this cast was incredible. And what I felt with that first film was that when I watched it, I just wanted to be friends with all those people. And yes. I those tornadoes with them and hang out with them. And it you could feel that friendship within that film. Um, so with this one, I wanted that to come through and all the actors knew that that was important and they hung out a lot in Oklahoma together. They were together all the time. Uh, and we just got along like a family. And I, I'm hoping that that spirit kind of comes through in this movie and that people will will feel it. Oh, absolutely. It came through. Like that was one of the things when I was watching it, I'm like, I want to chase tornadoes with these people as much as, as, as crazy as that is. So no, thank you so much for just, yeah, bringing, bringing a blockbuster that like, this is the reason why we, we go to cinemas. So thank you so much. That's very cool. Thank you so much.